Okay. Just standing here quietly and making this awkward. <laughs> Feel no shame. Just wait for the video. How many kids did you have since you were voted to have the most? First of all, I would never have 10. Because I came from a family of 11, and if there's a hell on earth, I know they say it's happy. <laughs> but if there's a hell on earth, it's 11 kids. But everything. A traveling with three kids is just a nightmare. Can you imagine 11? There was a time, uh, my parents drove all the way to New York, and I remember my grandpa went for some unknown reason. It was, a, it was very strange, all these little kids, and my dad had this like, he had built a table in the van and taped a TV to it. So this is uh, early days for in-car entertainment. And we pull up to the Ritz Carlton, right, in his van. It, nowadays, it, it, people would look at this van and not think that 11 kids in garbage are about to spill out into the parking lot of the Ritz Carlton. Oh, we got the video. All right, well, let's start it over, if we can. jump into cold water, but I told him before he jumped in there that if he died, his body would float under the ice and I would do nothing to retrieve it. <laughs> because what would be the point? Then I would die, and then who knows, we'd probably end up in some bloated and tangled embrace under the ice. And people would be questioning, like, how did they end up so entangled under this ice? And I just didn't want that to happen. Plus, I have this real fear, like when I fly planes, I have this terrible fear that I'm gonna end up on a TV show with, you know, like your clothes explode off, and I'm gonna be naked, floating in the water, and that's gonna be the last image anybody ever saw of Danny Bryson, was a bloated corpse in the middle of the ocean. It's like a real fear. I seriously am worried about that. So, none of that has to do anything with what I'm about to talk about. I made that video, and uh, Brooke wanted me to talk about these videos I make on YouTube, right? Now, before, it's, I'm not Casey Neistat, if you know who he is. Uh, I don't make slime. I'd probably be far more popular if I made slime on YouTube, or if I did unboxing videos, or if I opened up Disney toys. I mean, I would be huge. But I make adventures starring uh, slightly pudgy, middle-aged white guys. That guy's name is Blake, and uh, Blake's a good friend of mine. And honestly, I spend most of my hobby time chasing Blake around the mountains trying to make Hello. Oh. <clears throat> now the first step to making Blake look cool is to make sure he wears a hat. Because then I can conceal the fact that he's bald and reduce his age by at least five years, right? Because if I'm trying to attract a young demographic, that's step numero uno. But it doesn't matter because nobody watches the videos and I don't do it for other people. I do it mostly for myself and maybe for my kids. And I, I did take some comfort in the fact that I read an article recently. It said that Matthew McConaughey had a YouTube channel and only had 110 followers, and it had been up and running for two years. So suck it, Matthew. <laughs> I have a thousand. Uh, so, I get a little off track sometimes. Uh, anyway, my kid, he's seven, and I asked him one night, I had one of those real big parental moments, 
uh, five minutes, but the first minute doesn't count because you guys are having technical difficulties. Let me finish this up with a story about my kid, and then you'll wonder what exactly it was I was talking about. <laughs> so my five-year-old, or my seven-year-old, I had a moment, one of those great parental moments. I said, son, what do you want to do when you grow up? He said, I want to I do what you do, Dad. I was like, what do you think I do? Because honestly, I don't even know. <laughs> he sat there for a long time, and he goes, I don't, I mean, I just want to do what you do. So I sat down and put my arm <clears throat> on his shoulder and I said, unfortunately, son, I'll never make enough money for you to do what I do. 